Hey folks, I'm Harris, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about unemployment. So most of you might know that unemployment actually ended on Labor Day weekend, but if you don't know, a lot of states are fighting back to get back those unemployment benefits. And a lot of those lawsuits are actually retroactive. So what does this mean? This means that let's say Labor Day weekend, your unemployment benefits ended, or maybe a couple months back, your unemployment benefits ended. Um, in the event that these lawsuits are won, uh, you will actually be entitled to receive all of those uh, missed payments. So essentially uh, getting compensated for all those uh, back payments, if you will. Now, many states have actually filed for this lawsuit and today marks the 16th state, which is Arizona. And just to give you an idea of what those 16 states are, those states are Indiana, Maryland, Oklahoma, Texas, Florida, Ohio, Arkansas, South Carolina, Tennessee, Louisiana, West Virginia, Missouri, Alabama, Iowa, and New Hampshire, and now the 16th state being Arizona. By the way, be sure to subscribe to my channel where we're gonna be talking all things personal finance, including of course, unemployment as well as stimulus. So with that said, uh, Arizona is in fact the 16th state to file a lawsuit. Uh, specifically, the governor of Arizona, Doug Ducey. Uh, I apologize if I butchered the name, but, but essentially that governor is being sued because it is believed that it is unlawful uh, for him to have ended the unemployment benefits. Arizona actually ended their unemployment benefits back in July, which is why if you take into consideration the retroactive aspect of that, it's considerable amount of money. By the way, Arizona in particular also instated this uh, back to work 2000, up to $2,000 bonus. Uh, so for example, if you're part of the scenario where you were unemployed, you were collecting unemployment, then you got cut off the unemployment program back in July or whatever the case is, and now you decide to go back to work, you might be eligible both for that $2,000 uh, of the back to work bonus um, as well as the retroactive uh, unemployment that you would collect for all the back payments that you have missed. And of course, that's only in the case that the lawsuits are successful, but do take into account the fact that the $2,000 back to work bonus uh, is in fact, you know, it's signed off on, it's pretty much set in stone. So you should be getting that uh, if you do return to work. However, the retrospective uh, unemployment is, you know, it really depends on the outcome of the lawsuit. So enough about Arizona, let's talk about Ohio. Ohio was actually one of the first states that had ended their uh, unemployment back about two months ago. So uh, coincidentally, obviously, uh, they were also the first state to file lawsuits uh, to get those unemployment benefits back. So Ohio actually lost the lawsuit, but then they appealed and then they won. But then the governor of Ohio actually escalated the issue to a higher court. So essentially the Supreme Court. And what ended up happening was that the Supreme Court actually sided with the governor of Ohio, so essentially Ohio lost. No other significant details are, are known beyond that at this point in time. As for Texas, it's been pretty quiet. Uh, they essentially keep uh, postponing the, the hearings, and the next one is probably within the next couple weeks or so. Interestingly enough for Virginia, uh, Virginia actually has a lawsuit as well, but it's a little bit different. So Virginia's lawsuit isn't specifically about unemployment, but rather uh, they're essentially suing the Department of Labor because uh, you know, of all the broken systems, you know, they're claiming that the uh, the process is very slow. There's a lot of delays uh, that are just unnecessary. So that's what those lawsuits are about. And then the Tennessee lawsuits are still going on. Again, you know, just the, the hearings keep getting postponed. Uh, the next one's likely in the end of uh, September. And do know that the Tennessee uh, unemployment would also be retroactive if uh, if the lawsuit is successful. Well, that's it for today, guys. Uh, if I did not mention your state, uh, just be mindful that there is still a potential uh, for that state, for your state to file a lawsuit. There's just not enough information out there right now uh, to share. If you know something that I don't, please feel free to leave a comment down below. It would help everyone out. With that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Until next time, signing off.